हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनादर ओसम डे डे फोर्टी एट ऑफ द हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ हेल्थ विद पाइथन एल्गो ट्रेडिंग इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द फोर्ड प्राइसिंग ऑफ द फिजिकल कमोडिटीज एंड देन वी लर्न अबाउट द स्टॉक्स इन टुडे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट द बॉन्ड्स एंड नॉट्स एंड देन वी लर्न अबाउट द फॉरन करेंसीज देन द स्टॉक एंड फ्यूचर ऑप्शन एंड आबिट्राज डिविडेंट्स एंड शॉर्ट सेल्स सो विदाउट अ फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so first of all we have the bonds and notes so what is this the forward price of bonds and notes is adjusted for the difference in interest rate between the current yield and the expected yield at the forward contracts expiration right the formula to calculate the forward price of the bonds and notes is c multiplied by 1 plus r into t right c is the current yield and r is the interest rate and t is the time okay so let's take an example suppose a bond is currently valued at 950 dollars the annual interest rate is 2% and the contract is for one year right so what we can do as per the formula we can write the current price which is 950 multiplied by 1 plus annual interest rate which is 0.02 right then time which is 1 so now i can write it as 950 Multiplied by one point zero two, which is equal to nine sixty nine dollars. So the forward price of the bond, which is currently valued at nine fifty, will be the nine sixty nine after one year at the interest rate of two percent. Hopefully, it's uh, absolutely clear. Like it is not difficult, very easy. So it's easy to understand. And so in the future, we'll learn about these concepts very deeply. For now, this is just the introduction, right? So now let's learn little bit about the foreign currencies. So what is this? The forward price for foreign currencies is set based on the current spot rate adjusted for the interest rate differentials between the two currencies involved over the duration of the contract. So while calculating the forward price of the foreign currencies, we have to consider the domestic interest rates and the foreign interest rates, right? And the formula for that is S, which is spot price. Multiplied by one plus rate of interest of domestic over one plus rate of interest over foreign, right? So let's say we have an example. So in this, if the spot exchange rate from USD to Euro is one point two zero, the US interest rate is three percent, the Eurozone interest rate is one percent, and the time to maturity is one year. For the sake of simplicity, we have taken the maturity period is one year, right? So let's plug in these values in. This formula, so spot price is one point two zero multiplied by one plus rate of interest for the domestic, which is three percent. So I can write as zero point zero three over one plus rate of interest of eurozone, which is one percent. Means I can write zero point zero one, which will be equal to one point two zero multiplied by one point zero three. Over one point zero one, right, and which will be equal to one point two two. Which means, if we have a forward contract to buy euros in exchange of USD after one year at the interest rate of two percent domestically and one percent in foreign, so one point two zero will become one point two two. Which means, if we are getting one point two zero euro in exchange of one USD in at today. Then after one year, we will be getting one point two two in exchange of one USD, which means the price of euro will be depreciated after one year. Means we will be getting euro at a discount. And that's the simplest definition. And you can take few more examples and you can understand the concept behind this, right? Okay. Now we have the forward pricing of the. stock and future options so it involves some advanced strategies like the black scholes model which we will understand in the future in the upcoming videos so for simplicity we can understand it like that the option gives the buyer a right not the obligation to buy or sell any underlying asset at a predetermined price in a future date which we have already understood in the previous sessions and we know that the forward price we are talking here is the strike price we will understand these old concepts very deeply in the upcoming videos but for now just understand this simple concepts and we also know that there are some other factors involved 
like the time value and the volatility. Okay, so the next concept is arbitrage. So first of all, we have to understand what is arbitrage. Arbitrage is nothing but taking the advantage of the price discrepancies between the different markets. Okay, so let's take an example uh, for the arbitrage. Let's say you have two markets in your city. In one market, you are getting any item at the rate of $10. And in the other market, you are getting the same item at a rate of $20. And you know that if you buy that same item from one market, then you can sell that same item in the other market at the rate of $20. And you will be having a profit of $10. It will not be exactly $10 because you will have to bear the uh, transport cost, storage cost. And there are so many other things involved. But still, this is how arbitrage works. Okay, so many people, what they do, they buy an asset from one exchange, then they transfer to the other exchange and they sell that there. Okay, let me tell you a real life example. So in terms of cryptocurrencies, what happens? There used to be a huge gap in the early days. So let's say on one exchange, Poloniex, you were getting Dogecoin at the rate of, let's say $1. And on the other exchange, it was at the $1.10. So I have seen so many people making a huge amount of money just by buying the Dogecoin from this exchange and quickly transfer that Dogecoin from Poloniex to Bittrex and they will be earning a huge amount. Here, the only game is about the time how fast you can move your assets and you will be having the profit and that is known as the arbitrage means taking the advantage of price discrepancies between the different markets simple okay let's move to the next topic which is dividends so first of all we have to understand that what is dividends so dividend means a company sharing its profit with its stakeholders right and that is known as the dividend if you can see here, it says dividends are payments made by a company to its shareholders from its profits. When pricing options or calculating forward prices for stocks, dividends must be considered because they provide an actual cash benefit to the holder and reduce the stock's price when paid. So the formula for adjusted stock price is equals to current stock price minus present value of expected dividend during the options life. Let's say if a stock is trading at $50 and is expected to pay a $2 dividend during the next three months, then what will be the adjusted stock price? We know that we just need to subtract the dividend from the current stock price and which will be 48. So the answer will be $48. Okay, so let's quickly move to the next topic, which is short sales. A short sale involves selling a security that the seller doesn't own, hoping to buy it back later at a lower price. The seller profits from the price difference if the securities price drops as expected, right? So the simple formula is selling price minus buying price. Okay, let's say if a stock is currently trading at $100 and you know that in the future the price will be dropped. So what you will do, you will short it today. Means you bought it at 100 and now if the price drops, then you will be having the benefit. Means you sold it at 100 and in the future, if the price drops at Let's say 70 means you sold it at 100. In short, this is what happens, right? Means you sold it at 100 and then later you bought it at 70 and you have the profit of $30. So these were the basic understanding of the forward pricing. And in the next session, we will understand about the contract specifications and option terminologies. So please go through these topics, these theoretical topics, and I'll upload this OneNote PDF in Telegram. So please download it if required and please go through all these theories or else what you can do, you can purchase this book and you can listen to the audiobook or you can read the physical copies. So this is it for this session. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye, take care, have a nice day.